Let's begin with President-elect Biden, America's Control-Alt-Delete. He's been assembling his new administration, and it looks like he's putting his best foot forward. Well, I guess it's his only working foot, but it's still pretty impressive. President-elect Joe Biden is unveiling key members of his foreign policy and national security team today. The players are familiar from the Obama administration and notable for their diversity. If confirmed, Alejandro Mayorkas will be the first Latino and immigrant to serve as Secretary of Homeland Security. Avril Haines will be the first female director of national intelligence. And Linda Thomas-Greenfield, a career diplomat, is nominated to represent the United States at the UN. Mr. Biden also announced his new White House communications team. It is a diverse all-female group, including several mothers of young kids. Now that is progressive. An all-women communications team and a national security team that is racially diverse. People all over the Middle East are gonna be like, what an honor, what an honor to be bombed by such a woke administration. And a communications team of all women will be a refreshing change because let's be honest, guys, Men are always lying about size to try and impress people. But don't be fooled. This team isn't as diverse as it seems on the surface. For example, all of these people have experience in their fields. Yeah, everyone's experienced. The Trump administration would never have tolerated this kind of discrimination against incompetence. Shame on you, Joe Biden. Shame on you. Meanwhile, on the other side of reality, Donald Trump's attempt to cling to office faced Another setback yesterday, when Wisconsin and Arizona became the latest states to formally certify Biden's victory. And the Arizona ceremony happened at a particularly awkward moment for Donald Trump. As the governor was signing the certification documents, his cell phone buzzed with the ringtone of Hail to the Chief. Ducey has previously said he set that song for calls coming from the White House. This time, he muted the phone and set it aside as he signed documents that made Trump's loss official. Whew! That is cold. Sending the President of the United States to voicemail like he's spam? which he is, but still. You know Fox and Friends were watching this like, oh, that's a good trick. We, we can just not answer him before. We gotta try that. And you know what made this move especially gangster? Is that he knew Trump was watching him on live TV. We've all had that moment where we think somebody's ignoring our call or our text, but to actually see it, to see him look at his phone, see your name, and then put it away, ooh, that had to hurt. Trump was probably sitting there like, this is so painful. I've got to call Melania and tell her how bad it hurts. <phone rings> ah, I guess Melania also can't come to the phone right now. And as upsetting as those losses are for Trump, it's even more frustrating for Trump supporters because they must be wondering how their guy can possibly still be losing, especially after they've donated tons of money for the legal battles against the rigged election. Well, it turns out that that's not where all the money may be actually going. The president's unfounded claims of voter fraud and misinformation surrounding the 2020 election are proving to be lucrative for Team Trump and his allies. A source tells CNN the president and his political operation have raised more than $170 million since Election Day. Now, a fraction of this money will likely go to fund whatever is left of the president's legal fight here. But most of this money, there is very few restrictions on any of this. And most of it will likely go to fund the president's own personal activities. He can take that, uh, that piggy bank with him for whatever he wants to do in the future. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I see you, Donald. I see you. Here we were all thinking that you were really challenging the election results. Shit, you were just hustling. Look at this man. Look at this dude. Even at the very end of his presidency, Donald Trump is grifting his own supporters out of their money. I guess the one thing he doesn't need to recount is his balls because... Clearly, this man has a massive pair to go out like this. I mean, damn. We all knew that he'd probably grift hard on his way out, but hustling $170 million from his own supporters? Whew. It's one thing to steal all the shampoo bottles from the hotel. Well, Trump, he's taking the piano from the lobby and the indoor pool with him. 